many insects and other living creatures feed on our blood, or bite us defensively. Some bites pass quickly, but it also happens that you need to contact the doctors immediately. How to distinguish all these bites? We'll find out in this episode. Ticks, carriers of dangerous diseases. The oral apparatus of the parasite is arranged in such a way that it makes it possible to deeply and firmly stick to the skin. At the same time, a person will not experience pain and may find a tick on his body even after a few days. A parasite bite can cause swelling and redness of the skin around the bite site. This is due to the body's reaction to the salivary glands of the tick, which secrete substances that prevent blood clotting and cause inflammation. Remember that the tick should not be pulled out, just unscrew it, and also save it and take it to the laboratory for analysis. Scabies is a skin condition caused by the Sarcoptes scabii var hominis mite. In body shape, it resembles a microscopic turtle with four pairs of limbs, moreover, the female scabies mite is twice as large as the male's. As a rule, this intradermal parasite is transmitted from a patient to a healthy person. Scabies manifests itself in the form of red or pink pimples on the skin and severe itching. A person suffering from this disease combs pimples all the time, which is why they only increase. As a rule, the characteristic itching increases at night, it is at this time that ticks become active. This parasite hides under the human skin, and lays eggs there. Norwegian scabies is extremely highly contagious. Most often, the affected area of the skin is covered with a crust up to 2 to 3 centimeters thick. There may be more than a million scabies mites on the patient's body, while in a typical form there are usually only 15 individuals. Despite the squeak emitted by the mosquito during flight, most often the very moment of the bite remains unnoticed. Only after a few minutes, redness, swelling and itching appear at the site of the insect bite. And mosquito bites itch, because there are anticoagulants in the insect's saliva that prevent blood clotting and cause a local allergic reaction. Mosquitoes can spread dangerous diseases such as malaria or yellow fever. Be very careful in geographical areas where mosquitoes can live carriers. Midges bite differently than mosquitoes. With their jaws, they pinch off a small piece of the upper layer of the skin and immediately lubricate the wound with saliva containing an anesthetic. Therefore, initially the bite of a midge is almost painless. Then the insect licks the blood and lymph protruding on the surface of the wound. The bite site of the midge is distinguished by a large red spot up to 3 cm with a lighter area in the middle, rising above the surface of the skin. An unpleasant feature of a midge bite is that with a small insect size, it is able to penetrate into the ears, the nasal cavity often bites the lip or eye, which is especially dangerous for health. Midges cause big trouble to cattle on pastures. Insects cling to the entire body of the animal, especially areas that are not protected by a woolen covering of ears, eyes, nose. It is in these areas that the blood vessels are located close to the surface. As a result of such a massive attack, the animal may die from suffocation. Ladybugs are not dangerous to humans, they can only pinch the skin slightly without damaging it. However, the caught ladybug, defending itself, secretes an unpleasant smelling yellow substance, hemolymph. If you do not wash your hands after that and immediately start eating, poisonous hemolymph can get into your mouth and cause serious poisoning. Spanish flies aren't actually flies, they're a type of blister beetle. These insects are much more dangerous than ladybugs. If you touch the legs of a beetle, cantharidin is released, this substance strongly irritates the skin. Burns and blisters form at the point of contact with the beetle. If the poison gets into the eyes, you can lose your sight. 30 mg of this poison is a lethal dose for a person. The reactions to the ant bite are different and depend on their species. For example, a reaper ant leaves a small yellow sting in the wound. His bite is unusual in that the pain forms slowly and grows stronger over time over the next 6 to 24 hours. 
Rove beetles have powerful jaws, but they can't hurt a man. However, these beetles contain a toxic chemical. If a person crushes a beetle crawling on the skin, redness and blisters will appear. A flea bite is characterized by the presence of sharp pain. This is due to the fact that, compared with other parasites, fleas do not secrete a special substance acting as an analgesic during a bite. The flea can bite repeatedly, the bites have the appearance of small red dots. A slight swelling appears at the site of the bite and an unbearable itching is felt. Combing the wound leads to the appearance of a drop of blood. This is due to the fact that the insect secretes a substance into the wound that prevents blood clotting. Fleas can transmit diseases such as typhus and plague. Most often, lice live on the head, but there are species that are located on other parts of the body where there is hair. The bite causes severe itching and leaves a small red dot. When a bed bug bites you, it injects a chemical into your body that suppresses the process of blood clotting, for this reason, we do not notice and do not feel the bite at all. The number of bites of one bug is from 3 to 5 punctures of the skin with redness at intervals of 2 to 4 centimeters. The bite area may swell and turn a little red, and there may also be an itch that we feel after a mosquito or flea bite. The bite site should never be combed, otherwise it will lead to secondary skin infections. Giant water bugs can reach 10 centimeters. It is such a large insect that it can attack even small turtles. The greatest danger to humans are tropical water bugs, whose venom is much stronger than the toxins produced by European relatives. The allergic reaction resulting from the bite can be very strong, and the trace on the skin remains noticeable for a week or more. The long sting of the insect is able to penetrate very deeply, so the pain is felt for several minutes. In Thailand, such a predator is eaten. In most cases, the bite of a hornet, wasp, bee or bumblebee is not dangerous, although it causes pain. Usually the bite is accompanied by standard symptoms, sharp burning pain, swelling of the area around the bite and an increase in skin temperature. If an insect has stung a finger, then you need to pay attention to whether there is a ring on the finger that must be removed before the swelling appears. When a bee stings, the sting remains in the wound and it must be pulled out immediately. Wasps, hornets, and bumblebees do not leave a sting in the wound and can sting again. Moreover, it is believed that the most painful bite is from a hornet, and then from a wasp, a bumblebee and a bee. Horsefly is a blood-sucking and parasitic insect. In addition to blood, they also feed on plant juices, blood is needed for females to lay eggs. According to some reports, one horsefly, if not disturbed, can drink up to 200 milligrams of blood. Several dozen mosquitoes or several thousand small midges drink so much at a time. A horsefly bite can be very painful, the insect cuts the skin with its jaws, which is why the wound heals for a long time. The bite leaves a noticeable mark with swelling around it. Also, the bite causes itching, dizziness, infection is not excluded. The victim may raise his body temperature, and allergy sufferers may develop severe edema and even shock. Only fertilized female gadflies sting people. By nature, it is arranged so that during the bite, gadflies lay eggs in living flesh under the skin. This is the only reason they attack animals and humans. Within a few weeks, the offspring matures to the worm phase and comes out. The mature larvae begin to literally gnaw their way to freedom, simultaneously feeding on the blood of their host. Sometimes they enter the gastrointestinal tract and come out together with feces. The consequences of such a gadfly bite are extremely dangerous and fraught not only with allergies, but also with inflammatory processes. You can distinguish a gadfly bite from a wasp, bee, or bumblebee by the following signs, the bite site becomes pale, and a bright red rim appears at the edges, tumor growth is observed, swelling of the entire leg or arm is possible, the temperature rises and the skin itches at the bite site. What a gadfly bite will turn out for you depends on the situation and your actions, the consequences can be very different, 
from quick and painless removal of pests from the body, to death in particularly severe cases, for example, if an insect penetrates the brain. The bite of the deer ked is extremely painful and leaves red spots. If you see skin ulcers, fever or headache after a bite, consult a doctor immediately. The bright color of the scolopendra indicates that the insect is poisonous. According to the strength of the pain, one bite of a scolopendra can be equated to 20 bee stings. Scolopendras bite through human skin and secrete venom, causing pain, lymphangitis, swelling, dizziness, nausea and fever. Earwig bites look like an attempt at self-defense with the help of a forked tail similar to pliers. The insect attacks only in case of a threat to its own life. The bite is quite painful and looks like two red dots located about one millimeter apart, or a small scratch with torn edges, if you have removed the insect, and it has not let you go yet. When an earwig is bitten, germs can get into the wound, therefore, like any other scratch, it is better to treat the wound. There are cases when insects crawled into a human ear or nose at night. The earwig is dangerous because it cannot walk backwards, so only crawl forward. Individuals penetrating the human body bite and literally gnaw their way. Rumors that earwigs get into the brain in this way are unfair, because without oxygen they quickly die. The kissing bug lives in Asia, Australia, South America, the USA and Africa. The bug reaches 4 cm in length, it prefers to live near people and goes hunting at night, it is attracted by the warmth of a sleeping person and the carbon dioxide exhaled by him. It is not difficult to get close to a sleeping person, and the bug bites the victim without any problems, like a prince from a fairy tale kisses a sleeping beauty. When bitten, it infects a person with Chagas disease. It is carried by a small parasite living in the body of a kissing bug. The bite site swells, and when the parasite gets to the stomach, and then to the heart, death occurs. The infection process lasts for several weeks, and antiparasitic drugs taken in time can help. More than 40,000 people die from Chagas disease every year. Diamphidia is common in Central and Southern Africa and is a distant relative of the common Colorado potato beetle. It is believed that this insect has the strongest poison. However, it is not the beetles themselves that are poisonous, but their larvae. African tribes have been using this poison for a long time, arrows treated with this toxin kill a 500 kg animal within a few hours. The poison retains its lethality for a year. The toxin affects the nervous system, a person who has received a dose of poison loses the ability to move and breathe. The poison kills a person almost instantly, there is no antidote yet. Lonomia obliqua lives in South America. The poison of these beauties causes internal bleeding, the victim's kidneys die off, and spots appear on the body. Nothing particularly terrible will happen from contact with the needles of one Lonomia obliqua, a person will feel general malaise, fever, chills and headache. If an antidote is given to the victim within 12 hours, that will be the end of it. However, when making their way in the jungle among plants, people usually touch several dozen caterpillars, which is why a stroke is provided. Deaths from Lonomia obliqua venom were first recorded just 20 years ago. During this time, she killed several hundred people in Brazil alone. The consolation is that the threat should be feared only for a couple of months a year, until the caterpillar turns into a cute and harmless butterfly. A scorpion, like a spider, is not an insect, however, we will consider them in our top. A scorpion sting is similar to a painful prick or bite of a stinging insect, such as a wasp. As soon as the sting has gone under the skin, and the poison has entered the body, the first signs begin to manifest. Their degree will depend on the concentration of the dangerous liquid and the type of scorpion. Most often, at the moment of the bite, an instant burning pain is felt, which after 15 to 30 minutes spreads throughout the body. The victims complain of unbearable pain in the abdomen, lower back, chest, shortness of breath, increased pulse, headache and vomiting. There are also particularly dangerous species, for example, after a scorpion death stalker sting, a person can die in a few seconds. 
When a non-venomous spider bites, two dots remain on the skin. The bite of a poisonous spider is often accompanied by severe inflammation and even tissue necrosis, for example, these are the consequences of a black widow bite. These were the 25 most common insect bites that you can feel on yourself. As you can see, most of them can only cause itching, others be extremely dangerous and even lead to death, so be careful. That's all from me, if you enjoyed it, please like this video, and subscribe to the channel, see you again.